and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some burn aggro. All right, so we're going to uh, become the bad guys here for a little bit. We're going to play some burn, but it's okay. If you're somebody who likes playing burn decks, there's nothing wrong with it, in my opinion. Um, you got to, uh, sometimes you just got to just, you know, be real aggressive and play a bunch of burn spells and just light the world on fire, you know? <laughs> sometimes it's, it's just fun to do it. Just sit back, play really fast games, and just kind of see what happens. So we have, um, we're going to be real aggressive. One drops, two drops, but then lots of burn spells to finish the game out. Mystic Shot, Get Excited, Noxion Fervor, Aftershock, Decimate. We're going full on Nexus damage with all of these. So the hope is that we can, you know, do a, a good enough like amount of damage with our units. Um, a lot of our units do direct Nexus damage also, like Saboteur, um, Ballistic Bot, Demolitionist, Grenadier. All these can do direct Nexus damage. Same with Use Cast Salesman. But we just want to like get ahead enough to be able to basically finish our opponent out with burn spells. There's tons of other people playing aggressive decks right now. And so this is supposed to be kind of an aggressive deck mirror breaker in theory, where um, it takes them some more time to like do 20 damage to us by attacking, where we don't have to do 20 damage by attacking, but we can just, you know, we can sit there and, and attack or we can just block their things with our units and just throw burn spells at their nexus and kill them with all of these. We even got one Captain Farron at the top end to really close out games against some of those slower decks. All right, so let's give it a try. We'll see how it goes. We're going to play some Burn Aggro. Let's go. And we're going to get a Burn Mirror match to start with. They're going just Teemo as their only champion. So we're going to be a slower version of the same kind of deck. One drop, perfect. Like they're gonna be faster on the board of going wide, I guess that's what I mean. We're gonna have more direct damage. They're gonna be going wider. So no stream tomorrow. Boom. Explosives primed. Lock them, Timo. Not sure what's the better two drop to play, the bot or the grenadier. I go the bot. I wish I would have gone the grenadier. Okay, <clears throat> so they got the, the two Ballistic Bots that will take up more mana to be able to play all those Ignitions. Time for the main event. <clears throat> so we'll be able to discard the Ignition to Spinning Axe. I, <clears throat> I really don't want to see a three damage burn spell to kill Draven, of course, right? Like that's, I don't want my Draven to die, but... Uh, Let's make it ah, use Cast Salesman. That's a great card. Mm, that's a great card. You break it, you buy it. Alright, so we're just gonna cast our ignition. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have nine direct damage right now. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 with the Grenadiers dying. <clears throat> so 14 direct damage. We need to save the three spell mana. It's not going away. Alright, 
So I'm hoping that's going to help, like, one of these things get through. And we can trade, like, the two damage on the Mystic Shot for, like, three damage. Ooh, now do I just play Teemo? No, I should probably open it back. Okay, so this is I'm going down to 14. My beautiful face. Hey, Stravis, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Alright, we're down to nine. They got a lot of cards over there. Of course I'm ready. Got lots of cards. Like the fuse. So this will put us down to six. If they have six points of burn, we will be dead. But that's just a a risk I'm taking. That's obviously a very bad sign. All right, we need to draw a burn spell. That's not really a burn spell. I am surprised that hit. Very surprised that hit. If they don't break, hmm. they'll burn. If it would have just drawn a burn spell. Oh! No no burn spell from them. Wow. Victory was the mushrooms we planted along the way. Well, how about that? Alright, Zoe, Aurelian Soul. This is a deck that usually has a lot of Nexus healing, right? Guiding Touch, Star Shaping, that kind of stuff. I will keep our opening hand. I hope not turn one Zoe, but that's, you know, every single person playing against Zoe hopes not turn one Zoe. Just pass the turn. Yay. Where's my axe? Pass the turn again. Yay. And I'm going to get this attack in before a, uh, like a Mountain Goat. Okay, well, this is working out for us so far. I don't think that they're going to pass after this, right? Like, they, they got to play something, right? Nothing? Wow, they must not have had a good mulligan. That does not look like a very good mulligan. They're still passing the turn. This is probably too greedy for me. I should probably just be passing also. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. So they have to have fight spells. That's gotta be the plan is fight spell. Like that's that's actually kind of a problem. They go further block, then they fight. I guess but then I then I have like double mystic shot, but they they can you know use a buff spell. I kinda don't think that them going to twelve is that big a deal. All 
Alright, no fight spell. Yep. No fight spell means no win. Two and oh. Ooh, alright. This is the bane. The bane of the burn deck is Freljord Shadow Isles. This is our worst possible matchup. Salesman's not bad, but we gotta find something that costs two, I think. I don't know. Do have a tour? No, I'm probably gonna play this. Get past me. Okay, ready. Do they not... So you don't think that they have, like, a bunch of, like, Withering Whales and stuff? I mean, I guess... Yeah, if they if they aren't playing a lot of Withering Whales and those kind of cards, if they only have like Avalanche, I'll do better this time. This will take the chill off. That will take the chill off. Yeah, that that definitely went very well for us. So yeah, I guess I guess I'm used to fighting like the Brahma Nivia decks more than this deck with the Burn. I think this is the first time I've played with Burn in this kind of matchup. I'm used to more of the Brahma Nivias that are filled with Withering Whales and stuff like that. The trolls are going to war. Yeah, like this is already over. Well, this was easier than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Just playing, you know, 3 drop, 4 drop, 5 drop isn't going to really win. Alright, playing against deep. They go deep. I think this should be a good matchup. I think. If we can be fast enough, we need, like, one drops. Not really these cards. Where's our one drop? One drop. Okay, there we go. Okay, so a pred special prediction from Cabo. I have my orders. Well, you don't see this every day in a deep deck, but that's a that's a good card. Yeah, that's a good card for them. Good call. Damn it. That light. I am superior life form. Oh, they got Pesky Spectre from Warden's Prey. Not the best. Okay, so we have a. Let's have a uh, ballistic bot hand. No one's the wiser. That damage doesn't mean anything if they just heal it back with a de Deadbloom Wanderer. So I'm playing the Saboteur to be able to block the Deadbloom Wanderer. Join me if you want to live. Another day in the 
Go get him, Teemo. This is a weird game. Hmm. Yeah, this is a weird game. They came ready for this matchup, though. They sure did. That turn one Warren's Prey. They came very ready for this matchup. Yeah, I've seen they high rolled. Yeah, it looks like it. This is why we can never get 5 0. <laughs> we can't ever finish out that 5 0. Yeah, so they had Beast Below. See how handsome I do? Still at 20. I don't think we win this. I really don't. No, we did not pass the deep test. They had a really good hand against us. It's a good draw. All this does is just let you know, lets them block with the dredgers and go deep faster. You know, I kill these things, Scarab helps them out. One away from deep now. Yeah, if they attack with a 3-2, I'll have to Mystic Shot it. So I'm, I'm holding on to the Mystic Shot for that, but I, I just don't have to do that right now. Right, because if I, if I would have done it right now, then they would have been able to be deep. Yeah, we're going to try to win this with doing zero combat damage. There's a really cool sound effect for whenever you go deep. Cool animation, and everything like deep's pretty cool. Ah, oh, they got me. Pesky. I couldn't have had you like one turn before, so I could have got that back in their deck to not be deep. Better than atrocity. Do 
Alright, so yeah, so they're effectively at 11 right now. If I Mystic Shot. One of these three twos. <laughs> and my Ballistic Bot takes down their Nautilus. This thing should probably be at the end. Hey, buddy, what you doing? Alright, so they go to 11. Obviously, if they have Atrocity, I lose, but I can't, I can't stop that. We could do, you know, we can do 11 damage if they don't have Atrocity. Put some treasures in their deck. That was pretty crazy our Ballistic Bot took down Nautilus. <laughs> Alright, come on, draw a 3 damage burn spell. Come on, get excited. Get excited. Get excited. Nope. Because I would have been able to respond to Atrocity or Withering Whale or anything like that. Oh, that, I was going to say that was the card they just drew. So that was the card they just drew. Tossed those. And they didn't have anything else. The so zero attack, 20 damage. Ballistic Bot got there. Double Ballistic Bot. Um, yeah, just got, got us enough burn spells. That's how we get to Masters. No attacks. <laughs> Going on. Okay, now this has to be an anti-aggro deck, right? Karma. This has to be like the Withering Whale anti-aggro deck for sure. Alright, so get rid of spells to start. Because right, you, you want units to start with and then spells later. That's how you that's how you want it. No one's the wiser. Egg. So they just have Go Hard in their hand also? Go Hard and Hapless Aristocrat? So these saboteurs are never dealing damage. I have my orders. Yes, this card's Go Hard right here. Consider I really consider just playing Demolitionist and just killing this. But that doesn't really make the most sense. Then that card's Vile Feast? Yeah, we really need our Ballistic Bots, don't we? Said hapless aristocrat, vile feast, and go hard in the opening hand. For the glory of Noxus. We've been cheating death for a few of these games, but I don't know if we can continue to cheat death. Alright, so we had them waste a whole lot of mana. Alright, so that's that go hard. It's over here now. Let's make a deal. I really wish that we could use like the Noxion Fervor to not let them put more Gohards back into their deck. War Mason, reporting for duty. That'd be pretty nice. So at least that works like that. They were at 19. 
they healed three and took two, and you know they're at 18. So at least that worked that way. If we win this game, that would be insane. Yeah, that would be crazy if we win this game. Yeah, if only, if only Farron was still doing three decimates. And if only... Right up. If only was still doing three decimates, and if only we were still playing two Captain Farrens. We only have one Captain Farron in here with, like, the amount of other aggressive decks. If they have no more healing at all... Got a little bit more healing. All right, we got a, we got eleven. Yeah, they should play. Yeah, they should be playing grass with the undying. Mm. Right, they have that card too. Problem with the the biggest problem with the whirling death is it puts a another Draven back into my deck and I don't want to draw Draven right now. But I'm hoping this slows them down from leveling up Thresh. Still winnable. I should have attacked with like the four things. I, I thought about it, but then I thought that maybe that would level up Thresh too much. I could have like attacked with the four and used like two spinning axes on something. Yeah, let's go face. Face is the place. Game over? Oh, man. We're winning this matchup? Our deck is broken. So, wow. So that was burn aggro. We went 5-0. Finally got a 5-0. Those are really difficult to do, but we got a lot of luck there. I'd have to say three of those five games, I didn't think that there was any chance that we were winning. Um, you know, like the first one, the burn mirror, I thought for sure that we had lost that. Um, but, you know, we ended up having that that last burn spell to win. And then we had the deep matchup, which, again, they had a great, great hand. 
against aggro and i didn't think we could win that but we just stuck around and ballistic bots eventually you know got us a lot of damage and we eventually dealt zero regular damage and they they healed at least nine that i remember i think they oh, i think they played like vile feast and stuff too so I, we dealt at least 30 uh you know just regular damage and ended up uh winning that one they didn't have the atrocity to kill me and then that last one against karma thresh no karma no grasp the undying um, they did have a couple of Withering Whales, but, you know, like, they had uh, turn one, they had Hapless Aristocrat for a blocker, and then they also had Go Hard and Vile Feast in their opener for turn two and turn three and stuff like that, and then another Go Hard, a couple Vile, a couple Withering Whales. I didn't I didn't uh, think we had too much of a chance there, but no Grass the Undyings, and we just barely got there before that 4-2 started healing their Nexus. So crazy. So, yeah, we ended up winning all of our games there with Burn Aggro. That's maybe just the thing to be doing. Just throw burn spells at the Nexus. You just ask the questions to your opponent. Do you have atrocity? Nope. All right. Well, you lose. All right. Do you have like that extra mystic shot to kill me? You don't? Sorry. You lose. You know, do you have like karma plus withering whale? Nope. All right. Well, you lose. You know, that kind of stuff. So it's, sometimes it's better to be asking the questions than looking for the answers. Um, but yeah, having all these burn spells was, was really good, right? So how many? This is what? 15? 15 just direct nexus damage spells decimate aftershock fervor get excited mystic shot that's a lot and then when you have your other things like your use cast salesman your demolitionist your grenadier your ballistic bot so many things doing damage to them crazy all right so that's burn aggro uh good rank up deck uh for sure but hopefully you get a little lucky like i did with those games all right so anyway uh that's all i got here for this deck those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. Let me know what you think about burn decks in general these days. Hopefully, uh, you know, if you've been playing them, hopefully you've been having that kind of success. I'd love to, love to hear about it. All right, but that's all I got here for this deck. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.